What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hope y'all have an amazing day as usual. I'm back with a YouTube video. Before we get into today's video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and always comment down below. It really, really helps out the video. So I just want to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm wearing green. Y'all can't pinch me through the screen. But you know what, though? For all you guys that are not wearing green, because I know, um, say about, I don't know, 50 people watch this video, uh, probably a good 20 of those people are probably not wearing green. So let me give you your pinches through the screen. All right, there you go. <laughs> I know that hurts, right? Y'all are probably like, oh! Anyways, um, yeah, so the St. Patrick's Day, uh, we're gonna be trying to go to a, usually what we do is we'll go to a pub, and then um, this weekend we're gonna make a corned beef and cabbage, cabbage sandwiches. They're delicious. Um, because I am part Irish, I don't wanna be like that person that's like super like crazy about St. Patrick's Day, but I'm like 10% Irish, which isn't really a lot, but um, yeah, why not have a little Irish pride? Um, yeah, so we'll be going to a pub today. We're gonna to try a pub in Montclair called Egan's, but um, that pub is always busy, even on like, uh, like re just regular weekends. So I doubt they're gonna have any, um, uh, space there, but it's probably full. But um, what we did uh, last year in in twenty one, we went to uh, to East Rutherford, not East Rutherford, Rutherford. Um, we just happened to go there um, because there's a, a pub there, and then the year after that, we uh, decided to go back to Rutherford to go back to that pub for St. Patty's Day, but they were full, so we went to like a tavern down the street, um, which was actually really good. Um, yeah, Rutherford's a really nice town. I like Rutherford, but, um, yeah, we'll be heading out in a little bit. Also, right here is the March Madness bracket I made. Um, so, my guess is that Alabama and Kansas will be um going to the championship and then alabama will win one of the most crazy ones to me was um arizona and princeton i in my gut i wanted to pick princeton because it's in new jersey and gotta go local but i knew that it was like two to 15 i'm gonna have to go arizona but wow that was actually a surprise princeton um wound up beating arizona which is pretty crazy i should i probably should have gone with my gut in general, my luck is terrible when it comes to almost everything. Um, I mean, I know this is just a 50-50 chance. Well, I think Arizona probably had a bigger advantage, obviously had a bigger advantage over Princeton. But still, like, that's kind of crazy how my gut told me to go with Princeton, but I was like, just forget about it. I'll do Arizona. Definitely not a good choice. So, um, yeah, as expected, Egan's was awful. Um, so we're just going to hit up. Rutherford um, but yeah they had like a hu huge Irish almost like a festival going on they had a, a ice cream truck a whole like brewery spot they were grilling uh, burgers and stuff so pretty cool and they had a uh, band as well so they uh, take that uh, they, they take St. Patrick's Day very seriously there but um I had a feeling that they was going to be full so we're going to leave Montclair and we're going to go to East Rutherford. All right, so this is the restaurant we're going to. Right now, there's about a 35 minute wait. Um, so we just decided we're going to wait. I mean, that's probably the best you'll get all night. Um, right here at the, uh, the Park Tavern, New Park Tavern. And right here is, uh, I think this, yeah, this was the pub we uh, tried that we went to two years ago. I believe it's this one. So what I'm gonna do since we have 35 minutes is, as most of you guys know, I like trains. So I'm my rail fan for a little bit. I don't know how many trains are gonna be coming in 35 minutes, probably not that many. Maybe I'll catch like one or two. Yeah, this is the place we went to two, two years ago. Blarney Station Pub. It was delicious. Very good food. We met the owner. He was a nice guy. Um, but yeah. So once you cross these tracks, it's Rutherford. And then on the other side is East Rutherford. 
Rutherford's actually a very nice town, very underrated town. Um, beautiful town center. It's really local, a lot of restaurants, a lot of businesses. It's a pretty nice town. Yeah. It's not very big. I guess that's why no one ever comes to Rutherford. Rutherford's really close to New York. So in the distance, right there, you can see the Empire State Building and its green colors. Unfortunately, you can also see American Dream from here, which is a hideous mega mall. Look at that. Here goes a double decker. The previous engine I got was a single level with a diesel locomotive. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the double deckers myself, so I didn't even bother in rail fanning, but um, this train is like 25 minutes late right now. It's going into Hoboken. Yes, uh, sometimes that happens with New Jersey Transit. Delays are pretty common. And they're not like short delays, like a five minute delay. If they're delayed, they're like half an hour delayed. It's pretty bad. But for the most part, the trains are on time, I must say. But when they're delayed, they're delayed for a while. And the double deckers have such loud horns compared to the older trains. Um, what's actually kind of interesting is, is when the uh, train came this way, the conductor actually uh, opened the doors at the street. My guess is people were already, you know, waiting and uh, by the by the train door when they, once they got off, it was on the street. Sometimes that happens. Most of the time, the entire train does not stop at the station. Like, I'll show you guys what I mean. You guys are like, that makes no sense, but let me show you guys what I mean. Okay, the train was stopped here five seconds ago, right? See what I mean? It wasn't actually at the station, so. Anyways. So this is the Rutherford station, like I said before. And um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if this is the old station because this right here looks pretty old. And then that station looks pretty new. Uh, my guess is that this was uh, the Rutherford station like a long time ago, maybe 90s, 80s, something like that. And before that, obviously. I don't know when this went abandoned or maybe they still use it to let off passengers. I don't know. It's a little dark here. Let me get right under a street light for you guys. So uh, last year, I um, I went kind of crazy for St. Patrick's Day. Um, I think I had like some kind of green drink I made out of like Seven Up. I put green uh, food dye in it. If this restaurant has Mountain Dew, I'm getting it because Mountain Dew is green. So I'll probably get some of their Mountain Dew if they have it. Um, and I think what else did I do? Oh, I made like a, uh, like I had like pudding or jello. I think I made green jello, yeah. And then, yeah, I think I might have had, oh, and then I had a mint blizzard from uh, Dairy Queen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I took uh, St. Patty's Day pretty serious last year. I didn't have the time to do all those things, but um, the mint ice cream I can still do because uh, there is a Dairy Queen in Rutherford. Fish and chips. Alright guys, so uh, that's going to basically finish up our St. Patrick's Day video. It was just really quick. Um, not really much happened in this video. Um, but I guess I just have to put it on the internet and just say that I did it. Um, so, I'm just pretty much going to finish off tonight with some um, mint chocolate chip ice cream. And um, by the way, the food was excellent. So that's going to be for today's video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless to all you guys. Look at how green this ice cream is.